So this video is still on linear dependence. Uh, let us say we have a set S that contains a dependent subset. So this is a set S with vectors V1, V2, V3 till Vm and it has a subset, let us say that V1, V2, V3, Vr is a subset of S. Okay. So if F S contains a dependent subset, let us say that this one is dependent. Okay. This means that if this one is dependent, then S is also dependent. Okay. So we're going to prove this. Okay. And, and I'll move to uh, an important result coming from this. Okay, so um, let us say that so V1 and Vr, V1 to Vr is a, a dependent uh, set. Okay, so we will have V1 plus V2 plus plus Vr, they will be 0 without A1, A2 till Ar being 0. Okay, so there will be scalars, not all 0, you see, such that we will get 0 here. So this is by definition of a linear dependent set. So what about this one? What about S? So S will be V1 plus V2 plus Vr plus some other vectors plus Vm. Okay. So the scalars here will be A1, A2, Ar, Am. So till here, without these scalars being zero, we can get this to be zero, right? Okay, so the only thing we have to do is all the other scalars here to be zero. Okay, so this will be also zero. So we will get zero. Okay. So this concludes the proof that if this subset is um, dependent, the superset will also be dependent. OK, that concludes the proof. Now, now as in the previous video, um, uh, be very careful with this result because this says that um, if a set contains a dependent subset, okay, S is also dependent. And um, if S if S is independent, then any subset, I, sh I should give a name for this, let us call it T, okay? So if S is independent, so T subset of S uh, is also independent. And here we just show that if T is dependent, that means that um, T in S is also dependent okay but I'm going to erase this here okay if T is dependent T being a subset that means that S the superset is also dependent okay this might sound a bit boring but a lot of results are going to depend on all this Okay, let us see another result on a set of independent and dependent vectors. Let us say we have a set of 
independent vectors, so an independent set. V1, V2, Vm are the vectors, <coughs> independent vectors, okay, uh, and an independent set. And let us say we have another set <coughs> where we have V1, V2, so the same set, uh, vectors, but with one vector more, W. Okay. And let us say that this set is dependent. So this set is independent and the superset is dependent. Okay. Well, if this happens, that means that W, so this vector here, is a linear combination of these vectors here. Okay. Okay, let us prove that. Okay. Um, so this um, V1 till Vm, they are supposed to be um, independent, right? Okay, but this one here with W, this one is dependent. Okay, this one is dependent. So that means that we have scalars, right? So we have V1 plus V2 plus plus Vm plus W, where we are going to get 0 with these scalars, A1, A2, Am. What shall I call this one? Let's call it B, okay, to change. So, s since this one is dependent, this will be zero without, so where not all of these scalars are zero. Okay. Okay, one. Let us say that B is zero, that this one is zero. Well, if B is zero, so all this, this will be zero without, but not all of them are zero because the set is independent, right? Okay, so I'm going to write it. So this will be zero and not all of these will be zero. Well, but that's a contradiction, right? Because if that uh, happens, then this set would not be independent. Okay, so we got to a contradiction. Because this set here with these vectors, this set is independent. Okay, so we cannot get zero and all this uh, not being zero. Okay? Okay. Now, if B is not zero, so we are getting zero here, uh, and not all of these values are zero. So now um, B is not zero. Okay, so if B is not zero, so I can. Um, so 0 minus bw, right? I can add the minus bw on both sides. So this one will be 0, right? So I can erase all this. Okay, and here will be 0 minus bw, right? Okay, but this minus b, this is a scalar, right? So I can divide uh, both by minus b, right? Minus b, minus b, and here I can divide by minus b, where I'm going to get w, right? Okay, here you are. w is a linear combination of these vectors. So we wanted to prove that W is a linear 
combination of all these VIs. And this concludes the proof.